I'm Gail Bagstead and I'm from West Salem. I decided to have bariatric surgery after many, many years of fighting the battle of weight. Um, tried every weight loss thing under the sun that you know came on the horizon. You know, if it was something new, I was gonna try it. You'd have little successes here and there, but you always ended up either gaining it back and then you'd add even more to that until one day, you know, it started affecting your health. And it was at that point when now I had high blood pressure, I had, you know, uh, I was on the verge of diabetes and sleep apnea and things like that, that I thought, you know, okay, you need to do something more drastic because this isn't working. And that's when I finally made the decision that I had to go and check out the surgery. I chose Gunderson Health because, first of all, they're right here. I mean, why would you travel when you've got them right here? But, you know, I actually researched and checked out, you know, Madison and different things like that. Gunderson had top-notch rating. They've got the awards. They got excellent outcomes. I just, I just couldn't see going anywhere else because we have the best here. I decided to go with the gastric sleeve surgery um, as opposed to the bypass, which is the one everybody thinks of when you say bariatric surgery. I felt I was prepared like the minute I went to Gunderson to ask about it because it had, had been such a long process for me to get to that point. Even though I thought that, you know, there was still a lot of things that I had to learn and, and they are, do a really good job of preparing you and, and helping you go through all the things that you're going to need to do afterwards. The Gunderson staff is very, very helpful. They're very understanding and from the minute you start talking to anybody in the bariatric team, you get made to feel that you're worth something. This is an actual disease. There's something we can do to help you. The weight isn't defining you. It's not who you are. It's just part of what you are. Post-surgery, I'm very, very conscious of everything I eat. Everything that goes into my mouth, I'm always thinking, okay, what is the nutrition in here? What is the protein in here? What is this in here? You know, because I'm not going to eat it if it's not going to give me what I need or what you know my body needs. And that's just amazing to me because, you know, that was not me. And to have that awareness, and I learned a lot of that, you know, at Gunderson. I was very lucky because, you know, I have a very supportive husband. So, I mean, he was right there with me through everything. And then there's support groups that you go to. There's one that is specifically for people who have had the sleeve. It was very helpful to see people at different stages of the process so you can kind of see, oh, well, that might happen then, or, you know, this is what you're going to have to do then. But, you know, kind of answered a lot of the, the questions and, and the apprehension of, you know, what am I going to have to go through? What might it be like afterwards? I think for someone who's just starting to think about bariatric surgery, I would just tell them, don't be afraid. Go there because you're going to go there and you're going to see 20, 30 other people who are exactly like you in that exact same spot and it will ease all your fears because you will go through this process with a lot of them. It has been 19 months, so a year and a half. At this point, I've lost like 92 pounds. I've changed my health tremendously. I no longer take anything for blood pressure. I don't use the sleep apnea or CPAP machine anymore. Um, my, all my numbers, my cholesterol is, you know, all perfectly normal and everything is right where it should be. I exercise, which I was never an exerciser. I was couch potato. I'm feeling so good. I walk, I run. It makes you want to get up and do things. You know, I missed a lot of events in life because I would always come up with some excuse why I didn't want to go because I was ashamed of my weight and how I looked. And now I'm just, I get an invite. I'm so excited. Oh, I want to go. I want to go. You know? It's just getting out there and doing things and not even thinking about, oh, can I or can't I? I have a very steep driveway at the end getting up to the house and it's I wouldn't even walk down and get the mail or the paper because I would have to stop halfway up that driveway and wait and catch my breath and then go the rest of the way up. And now I just march up the driveway like nobody's business, you know? And so every time I do that, I mean, I, I'm grateful because it's like, I can do this now. One of the things I do now that I would have never considered before is I now have goats. I have little Nigerian dwarf goats that eventually I will have bread and I'll milk them and I'm gonna make soap and goat cheese and things like that. Before I just couldn't have done that because I couldn't have done all the chores that are involved with that because physically I was not able to do those kinds of things and now I just, it's something I do for fun. I love it. I love running out there and playing with them in their little yard and so it, it's really a joy. Before I had my surgery, I was going to do the walk, stepping out in pink. Thing. It was just physically impossible for me to do that whole thing. And you know, this year, I did it, and I walked it, and I walked fast, and I was so proud of myself, and I just never wanted to stop. Having the surgery has absolutely changed my self-image. You know, I used to think I was really shy, and I don't know that it was actually shyness. It was more embarrassment on my part because of my size. I never wanted to shop for clothes. That was just a horrible thing. I just didn't do it. 
and now I love it, you know, and even I go into the store and I'll pick something up and I know it fits me by what size I am, but I hold it up and I look at it and it's like, that can't fit you, and yet it does. So, and that makes you feel really good. Never wanted mirrors in my house, which when I walk past a mirror now, it still kind of throws me back a little bit because I look quick and, you know, I don't see who I'm expecting to see. It's like, oh, well, yeah, that's me now, you know? so. It, it changes everything you do and everything about you, but you know, now I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of the hard work I put into this, and I just enjoy life more. Uh, my name is Matt Baker, I'm a general surgeon and bariatric surgeon here at Gunnarsson. I've been here uh, almost 10 years. I chose bariatric surgery because during my uh, surgery residency, one of my mentors was a bariatric surgeon. I think the thing that impressed me most was the impact you can have on people's lives. The most advertised reasons for pursuing bariatric surgery is because of the impact it has on what are previously considered uncurable diseases, such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and sleep apnea. Now, the impact of bariatric surgery on diabetes is that statistically about 80% of patients will go into remission or have normal blood sugar levels without medication. As far as the blood pressure goes, about 50% of patients uh, will be able to have normal blood pressure readings off their medication or if they're on several medications, they'll whittle it down to one or two to maintain that same control. And what I tell patients when I see them on their first visit as I say, anywhere along the way as you're preparing, you decide this is not for you, just let us know and that's not a problem. This is a journey. It's not an operation in isolation. It's, uh, it's not just a surgery. There's a lot of preparation that's required before surgery. Uh, of course, there's the operation and the recovery from that, but then that's when the journey really begins, making those lifestyle changes that they've learned about. They're forced to do certain things because of the surgery, learning how to adapt to that. And we try and just be very open with them, answer all their questions, and make sure they understand. And I think understanding alleviates a lot of fears. Well, I think a team approach is very important with bariatric surgery because it's more than just an operation, it's a lifestyle change. And so we have nutritional professionals, we have psychological professionals that get involved at a very early stage with the patient. There are other professionals that are available if needed, if they have lung problems that need specialized care, if they have heart issues that need uh, specialized care, we'll also get those, in pri those providers involved as well. The expected outcomes from bariatric surgery depend uh, a little bit on the type of procedure you have. Uh, the most famous or most popular pr uh, procedure is the gastric bypass and most patients can expect to lose 60 to 70 percent of their excess weight. Uh, with a sleeve gastrectomy, that number is uh, 60, maybe 50 percent, depending on uh, age uh, and your activity level, etc. Now, there are some patients that um, are overachievers, if you will. They're very active, they exercise, they're very compliant with their diet, and they, we have seen a few patients lose all of their excess weight, like Gail, for example. Well, as I mentioned, surgery is a very small part of the journey, and follow-up is important. Uh, the patients are seen um, three weeks after surgery by the whole team, see how things are going, make sure they're recovering well and, and that sort of thing. And then our nutritionist and our outpatient uh, physician assistant will see the patients every three months. Everyone loses weight after the surgery. How much depends on the patient, depends on a lot of things, but everyone loses weight after the surgery. But once you kind of plateau on your weight loss, I think that's when the support becomes very important in patients that are struggling. Maybe they're seeing some weight come back on. Uh, they need to talk with a nutritionist, you know, find out what's going on, find out where they can make some changes, get things turned around quickly. Uh, there's also patients that, um, you know, struggle emotionally. It's a, it's a life changer in many ways. And they, maybe their social circles are different now. Maybe they've lost some friends or gained some new friends because of this transformation. And so we have our psychologists available to uh, talk with them if needed, uh, try and keep them grounded and successful. 